Brent surged to a peak of $139.13 overnight as the US said it's in active discussions with European partners about banning Russian energy exports. At that price, it's trading about $8 below the all-time high of $147.50 set back in July 2008. So what happens next? Well, probably more strategic reserve releases can be counted on, not that that will make much impact. Questions really lie around whether the White House uh, will seek to get US companies to increase production. Has Biden picked up the phone to the Saudis? We simply don't know. There is some spare capacity in OPEC, but not much. Meanwhile, Russia is delaying the final agreement of a new Iran nuclear deal that would bring perhaps half a million to one million barrels per day to the market. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the commodity space, wheat prices keep on soaring, with futures in Paris now up 50% this year. Russian and Ukrainian grain exports make up a quarter of the global total. Hungary, Argentina, Russia, Bulgaria and Turkey are either limiting or completely blocking grain exports. Ireland, meanwhile, is encouraging farmers to plant grains.